Ah, look what just showed up. Actually, you can't look. Hang on. We're gonna take this to the garage and unbox it and... I find this stuff to be pretty interesting. I don't know why. It always makes me happy. Okay, there we go. It's a pump of water. Well, it's not of water. It pumps water. Gasket. Hey, this one even has instructions with it. Cool. Here's the thing. Uh, okay. You know how you know you're getting old? You stop using your teeth to open things. It's true. So here it is. Okay, so what we have in front of us are the three water pumps. We have the cheap one, we have the Toyota OEM one that came on the car, and then we have the ASIN brand one. The thing that I really want to point out is the fact that ASIN even though it's not Toyota badged, is the company that it does in fact make the original OEM Toyota water pump. ASIN's a pretty good brand, at least in my experience, because they make a really good transmission that goes into the canyons and the Colorados that is often used for LS swaps. It's the five-speed AR5, and I believe is what they call it. So, pretty reputable. Obviously they make parts for other vehicles that do really well. This one, because it's not badged with Toyota, was half the price as the Toyota. This one's four to $500, depending on where you get it. This one is 200 bucks, or 180 actually, with a discount on the old Amazon. As you can see, it looks like it probably did have the Toyota badging on it, and it was just ground off. I don't know why, this could be remanufactured. I am not sure, but just a little comparison for what they look like. Same thing. I'm going to assume that this one and this one look exactly the same on the inside. This one's already part. You can see it's got the ASIN board. This one did fail on me. The impeller here broke, and this is what it looks like on the inside. You just have this magnetic piece, but this is what broke on the brand new one on the very first startup. So while this one's broke on the outside and it should look like this one, you know, have a little bit of a, a little bit more to it. Here is the cheap one. Now I am going to take this one apart because I just don't care. Once those are loose, it just comes apart. Now, this is the difference. For the most part, they look pretty similar. The housing itself looks, is it even the same part number? It is the same part number. The internals are probably just a little bit different, but this is what ended up going wrong. <laughs> it completely sheared off. So here's what it's supposed to be, and well, yeah, that's what we ended up with. It didn't even make it 20 minutes. And we're gonna deal with this bad boy here. This is our new one. This is actually a pretty simple job. So I'm gonna show you the process. I'm also gonna put on the screen somewhere, over here probably, of all the tools that you'll need to do this. It might cross over to other Toyota models. I don't know for sure. Uh, someone else can confirm or deny. But this does work for the 2010 to 2015 Priuses. Yeah, let's just, let's just do it, I guess. There it goes. So you might have to undo the top of it, the actual air box here, to get this thing out, and then just throw it because it made you angry. This is the only thing we need access to. Pull the plug. Just push down, get it out of the way. Don't break it. 12 millimeter. One. There are five of these 12 millimeter. They're different sizes. The longer ones go one, two are the long ones. The rest of them are pretty short. So the bolt that we're after is right here. They're all pretty well accessible. Okay, that should be it. We'll pull it off now pop off. See, that right there is why I just use water. 
because I can just let it drain out. Look at that, man. Look how... Oh, jeez. Okay. You might have to wiggle this in to place a little bit. Just be sure, be careful with the shaft here. That's what she said. I've seen stories of people paying like $900 for a shop to do this. And yeah, maybe the pump itself, if you get OEM Toyota, is, is $400, let's just say. Even if you've never done it before, this is a 25 minute job at most. So don't do that. I'm not saying that there's not benefit and shops and trusting people that are trained to do it is not a good thing. You know, that's not what I'm saying at all. But for real, this is such an easy, simple job that even somebody with the most limited mechanical experience could do. There's really no sense and charging that much. I kind of have a problem with Toyota charging that much for a water pump, when quite literally the same company that makes it, you can get it from them for half, less than half the price. That's quite the markup. Looking at it this way, short bolt, long bolt, long bolt, short bolt, Short bolt. You can do this entire thing with a single ratchet and a 12 millimeter and a 10 to take out those two bolts. It's all you need. I'm sure this isn't the most exciting and interesting video for people. It is just a Prius, but you know, sometimes daily drivers and the work that you do to them is just as important as some of the fun cars, you know, like the, the Trans Am. But anyway, thanks for hanging out. Like the video if you like it, subscribe if you think I earned it, because it does definitely help. Nobody's like me, and well, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> See you later.